Now it says in, in, in Genesis, it says that God, after he created the heavens and the earth, he rested, right? He rested. Here we go. Yeah, no, okay. Uh, I, know, I, know, I, know, I, know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know you've heard this argument so much before. I know. Bless you. Bless no, you. But, but the yeah. thing is, right? Obviously, like if we, and this is the reason why I said that the Quran is the Muhaymin, it is the I'm overseer. Going, I'm, I'm, now, I'm going to so, tell you a few things. So, and I'm going to so I want that your question. explanation I'm going to answer that question. I'm you, going to you give you a step me. back. Yeah. The step back is remember, for us Jewish people, we have a different mindset than many different religions. First of all is, as a Christian would believe that the only way through the Father is through who they call Jesus, yeah? A Muslim would believe is the only way up to heaven is through accepting Muhammad, yeah? Muhammad Rasulullah. That's the, you have to be from the Ummah of Islam. You have to take the Shahada, yeah? So you believe that the, oh, the truth is in Islam and Christians would believe that the truth is in Christianity. For us Jews, there's a different thing completely. We believe is that God gave every people should continue the, the way as long as they're good people to continue their own Umar and their own books and their own things. But he gave for us our own book. Right. And our book for us is the Torah. Now, in the Torah, it isn't mentioned anything else because the Torah only focuses to us. It doesn't focus on the other people. We aren't a religion that go out to the park and come and tell people join Judaism because it's not our job. Because if you're a good Muslim, Alhamdulillah, yeah. praise the Lord on that. Because it's not our duty to bring you into Judaism. It is your Ummah for your people, my Ummah for my people, and every Ummah for their people. So there is, the truth for us is our truth, and that's where it begins and ends. Okay. Now. Okay, go on. Go now, on. when it comes to understanding the Torah, the way the Torah is written through the, the 24 holy books, it starts by Genesis, goes through the five books, what we call of Moses, and then you start Judah, the 2,000 years of Jewish people living in the land of Israel, yeah? So you have from the sixth book till the 24 books of the 2,000 years of Judaism in the land of Israel. Okay, but... but, let's, uh, but, let, but let, let's, yeah. let's go. The way it's written... The, you you the need Torah, to answer... Yeah, I'm going to... The way yeah, the, Torah please, is written is, the Torah is written a language that it should be understood by human beings. It's not a language written for God to understand it. It's a Torah. It's a book of laws. It's a way of life given to who? given to a certain tribe, a certain set of tribes called Yehudim, Bnei Israel, the, the children of Jacob. And in this book is, it gives you the whole setup of how we view the world. Mm. The language it's spoken is, you would have, for example, that God was angry, God was upset. God, God was so would you agree? I, 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 okay. One second. Yeah. God, God rested. God, all these type of are euphemisms that we should be able to internalize. That means is, for example is, world was created in six day and in the seventh day he rested yeah. doesn't mean the way we understand rest so how do you way, interpret the, the word rest how we interpret the word rest is yeah. that the creation set of the world it continues god continues to keep this world alive throughout our history and you could ask my son from four years old is god resting give me a jewish scholar that holds that opinion every single jewish scholar give me an every, example take any Ooh. scholar Give me take, okay. Let's go so, now. Let's okay. go now. Open up, open up a safari. Okay. And let's take this verse in Veracious. Okay. Let's go to. Safari. And what, what is it? So what is the? Okay. So you show me. I mean, you tell I'll, me. I'll, I'll show you. Every single Jewish scholar sees it. There's not a single Jewish scholar that sees Where it. Where it says right. rested means the what you interpreted, right? Yes, hundred percent. Okay. Go on. Every single. Too. Let's go to Shishi, the seventh day of the world. My glasses on. Okay, you take your glasses off. My... <laughs> I think it's the screen. Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. I'm on a bows. Yeah, it's all right. I can do it. Okay, fourth day, and second, fifth day, sixth day. You take your time and you find it. Yeah, yeah. Right. Take your time. Yeah. Yeah.
So let's start through. You got here. This is the verse in the in the Bible. Yeah, on the seventh day, God finished work and ceased the seventh day from doing any work. Now let's see. You got commentary on this on this thing here on this website itself. Fifty-eight commentaries. Start by the first. Now what it means is, let's see. Shabbos came, and the work that was finished on creating the universe. Go to the next one, Eben Ezer. Okay, let's go through here. It goes, right, it goes every single one. It was brought into being. Every single, go through any and every single commentary. Okay. It is that the world came to complete. It should be understood by humans that way. Okay, so... Every, Every single, that means on every single verse yeah. in the Torah, where you have anger, sadness, who created anger? Anger is a creation. Okay, so, sadness the is word, a creation. so, so would you say that rest, rest, rest is a human attribute, it's right? A, it, it's, for, it's not a human attribute. Well, it's, I, when I'm it's, tired, it, it, it's from a creation. It's, it's, it's a human, it, it's something that is it's it's down, it's yeah. down to, in creation we have it. Yes, it's a human attribute. So, it's a defi so would you admit it's a deficiency? A hundred percent. Okay, so. But. You're going to say, do no, we... No, go on, you want to say something, go yeah, on. No, do you put this sufficiently up to God? No, but it's the only way humans could comprehend. We can't comprehend God. We understand that, yes? No, no, I'm not denying that you can't, you, you cannot comprehend God. And there are certain things about God we don't understand. However... No, but our understanding and God's understanding are two different things. Our understanding I agree, is the creation. I agree with you. Is the creation. But what I'm saying to you, right, is that resting, right, is a human attribute. 100%. That, so, for example, anger, okay, yes, God does get angry if we, if we disobey him, for example. But does God get angry? Angry is a creation. It is for us humans to be able to comprehend a certain thing what happens when you So, if you against, disobey God, would God be angry with you? In our understanding, in our we would say yes. But okay. is it really, but is it really what's going on up there? Could no, we no, comprehend? But no, but, no, but we can't. But no, we can't because, because God, God, take it a step further. Anger is a creation. No, no, hold on one it second. It is a creation. In the Quran. The one who created it can't, doesn't have to, is not bound by it. One second. It is a human the, comprehension. Allah says, Laysa kemithli hi There's nothing like unto me. The Bible also makes the same claim. There's nothing like unto God. So the anger that God exercises is not the same anger we exercise. I don't even think so, you could so, even, so what I'm I don't saying, even think you could even call it, it is a, that means it's all attributes of God. Rachamim and all this. Is it, is it, it's for us, the way we look up to something, it's from our perspective. From God's perspective, it's, it, 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 it doesn't even stick to him. It, it's something that we can't comprehend because of anger. No, but not I agree. Love, I'm not, I'm not, not disagreeing. Nothing of that. So even when we say anger, God is angry. Is it? Is God angry? Do we understand what anger means? No, no, no. When it comes to me and you, you're going to punch me. I'm going to be angry. But the anger up there, it, it's a creation in this universe. What it does up there, I have no I, idea. I'm not. I'm not. I, I don't disagree with you. But what I'm saying to you, right, is that when God says He is angry, like for example, if you, he wants if, us you to understand. if you committed adultery, for example, yes. right. And you didn't mm -hmm. repent for your sins. Was God going to be angry with you? In my understanding, it will be yes. What happens up there, I don't know. Okay, no, I'm not. I'm not saying and that. That's what I'm no, saying. I'm, I'm Torah, not saying that we. That's not... what I'm saying. The Torah is a book of is, is a book of rules and a book of life. So it's speaking to you. I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with you. What I'm saying to you, right, is that God is not like us, and I agree mm -hmm. with you. God is not like us. He, he, the Quran is very emphatically clear about that. God says, Laysa kemith lihi shay. There's nothing like unto me. And in the book of Isaiah, it also, God makes the same claim. There's nothing like unto me. So the, the, the God's anger... It, it, it is the alphabet. Oh, oh, one of second. The, God's anger is not like our anger. I agree with you. The anger we have is a creation. However, when we look at the deficiencies that we find, in, in like, for example, in the Torah, like for example, where God says, He rests, for example. Now, I understand. I, I'm not negating the fact that you gave me an explanation and you try to uh, um, I don't, explain, I, obviously I don't try. It's, it's I, I, meaning. I think it's, I think it's a non-start of a question. If you understand the way the Torah is written, it's a non-start of a question. But this is a big deficiency. And, 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 and deficiency from your, you know from your perspective. Is, what is my monetary thing that you know about my monetary is a negative theologian. So he, he only negates. So he never but we can't, but we can't understand God. But we can't, we can't comprehend him. That's the issue. We can't comprehend God. Do you understand what I'm saying? But, yeah. He's a but, negative but theologian, God. meaning that he, that, that, that basically, my mom is saying you can only say what God is not, but not what God is. So he doesn't make positive assertion, right? So that's a bit problematic from from the Jewish perspective because do you believe that God is ever living? They are ever living in in, 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 in the way we see ever living. That means is he alive? That he doesn't die? He, it's it's it, it, it's for everness. But the word no, living but do we is. Have life? We have life that comes to an end. Okay, but does God have life? It does God have our type of life? Definitely no, no, not. No, I'm not asking about that. So is I'm the word life the right word to does use? Does God die? 
never dies. That we know. So that's the opposite to God is ever living, right? We, be, yes, but because we take what we are framed in and we try to comprehend something that is incomprehensible using words that we have. But this can't be reflected onto God. It could be reflected onto God as much as we, are, we talk to our children, God never dies. Yes, God is always living. God is always existing. It's in our prayer. But the second you go to a step deeper, okay. you have to understand. Oh, so I'll, that give, is, I'll but, give an example. Does, that, does God produce offspring? <coughs> definitely not. He doesn't? No, because he okay. doesn't do what, Good. what we humans do. Okay, fine. He made us. We are creation of offspring. The same way we, we have a complete different setup. That means that as a Muslim, you would believe in abrogation. But us, abrogation doesn't exist. No, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking but about abrogation. But us, abrogation doesn't I'm exist. I'm talking about affirmation. But us, there is no, there is no New Testament. There is no Quran. There yeah. is no... Jesus and there is no your prophet also. Oh, no, no, it doesn't no. exist to us because oh, the Torah spoke to yeah. our people and the Torah speaks the language of people to us. I understand where you're coming from. I'm not, I'm not talking about abrogation. I'm talking about um, affirmation and negation. So do you affirm God's attributes and do you also negate God? <clears throat> what do you mean by affirm? We, our prayer, the main prayer we have is Shema Yisrael. Listen to Israel. Yeah, yeah. Hashem Hashem yeah. Hashem Thank you. That come, God come, is one. Yeah. The Rambam, who you come among of this, is, yeah. what does he write on the word one? That okay. this oneness isn't compared to so, any other oneness. That's what I'm saying. Because this yeah, yeah. oneness, like every other one, oh, yeah, no, I know, one, I know, but it could be ah, this okay. oneness doesn't exist. There isn't, there isn't any other such oneness like this oneness. This oneness okay. is a oneness that it can't be compared to any other oneness. It isn't like we understand. So it's not one. sufficient to say God is one. God is one. Yes, God is one. That's in our understanding. Now, if you want to understand a, st a step deeper, what does the one mean? One isn't a simple one. The way we understand one, it's a. There is no one like this one. Okay, but do you say God is God uh, is not multiple? Definitely not multiple. Time. Definitely not multiple. Okay. Definitely. But God is one. God is one. Okay, that that goes against Rambam because Rambam. Is no, that's the, that's Maimonides in the first in the first verses. Let me show it. No, you. because what I meant to say. I'm, I'm going to show you the, sure. the Rambam in the first. Well, that means say, the Rambam when he starts. Yeah. yeah. What well, I'm trying to say, Rambam, he's a negative theologian. I mean, he always says God is not, but he doesn't say what God is. I'll tell you. I'll show you. But Rambam he gives the condition God is one, but not like us. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. the point. Like you have to make a subject close to it. You have to clarify what is meant one here. Yeah. But we understand full of Allah. Exactly. Full of Allah. Yeah. Let me show you inside the Rambam. Let me define the second inside the Rambam. Yeah. And I'll show it you. It goes easy. Sure, sure. So you affirm God is one. Definitely. Every, no, but they, every day. No, but they have to clarify what one is. No, we don't. You if, you go, if you go into, we, we focus far less, the Torah is far less about what you believe and what you okay, think and what, what you do. Right, yeah, that's right. number one. What about God is the, is God the creator? Definitely. But do we create? No, how can we create? Well, we do create stuff, don't we? Oh, uh, uh, not in the same way. In a human stuff. level, yeah, we, we, we make things. Exactly, yes. exactly. So you don't have to clarify further God as the creator. One second. Uh, he's uh, not like any other. Like, like let's, he's the let's creator, go, but yeah. he's not like. Let's go into Rama. We, we're point. opening up Rama here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's start. Where is it? In 10 seconds. We'll show you that later. Yeah. Chapter 1. Sure. This is the way. One second. This is chapter 2. Chapter 1. Mm -hmm. I'm going to with you. Okay. Hey, how's it going? How are you doing, buddy? You okay, yeah? Yeah, doing good. Oh, sorry. What's the, what's the discussion? Oh, we're talking about... Uh, the, I'm looking for Rambam, the first Rambam. Why can I find it here? See that water? I don't know who that belongs to. No, I don't. No, don't, I'm not drinking. Yeah, discard it. Sure yeah. The Rambam is. Oh, okay. So the foundation of all foundations and the fill of wisdom is to know that it is a primary being who brought into being all existence and all the beings from heaven and earth and everything in between. Yeah. Now, now, this is how. Now, it should not go into your mind. If one would imagine that he does not exist, no other being. Nothing else could exist without yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you imagine that none of. And the cyclone will exist, he alone, he alone can still exist without the universe, yeah? Okay. He alone can exist without the universe. Continue. This entity, God, 
Unbound power, power without interruption because he causes everything that goes on in the world is his cause. That's the he causes to revolve. That means the whole everything in in the universe is that is that exists today is all still in existence only because it's God's will to, that it should still exist. Okay. Next. You know that you I am your God. Anyone who presumes that there is any other God sends just a negative commandment. So when you say, sorry, I just want to clarify. When it says, I am God, your Lord, yeah. do you have to clarify further what no. it means, I am God, your no. Lord? No, that's what it is. That's where it ends. Okay. That's where it ends. I heard something different about uh, Rambam. No, that's where it ends. You can take every prayer. You, have, you can take every prayer a thousand times a day. You pray five, you can pray three times so a day. Do you have a problem if I say God is the creator? No. God is the creator. No, God okay, is the creator. Okay, by Rambam, you, you have to clarify what you mean by the creator. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. Because I he, learn Rambam every day. No, no, no. Because you have to say God according to Rambam, you have to say God is the creator. You have to say anything. But he's not to... but he is no like other creators. Like no. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 the, when you say is one thing, now what happens is the Rambam went into theology, into 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 the detailed understanding of theology. Yes. Once you go into the understanding, he tries to teach children to understand that it is far deeper in understanding than the simple use here. That means it's the other names of God, God as simple is it the way we relate to God and all that type of understanding. And that and that's the point. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay. okay. Anyway, I'm gonna sorry, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Sure brother. Um, what, was the, you... what was the what was the conclusion? Uh, no conclusion. I don't know. It was I what, what I thought was no, he came. He came up with an explanation about what rest means, and he he, he 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 didn't exactly read exactly what it was. He just kept flipping through different interpretations. But and the thing is, I was speaking to that guy, and he just walked away. Do you know what I mean? All right, okay, um, the, young the, the young guy, and he was listening. He was listening. Okay. But then I had other people that came in, and they wanted to, like, you know. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that Maimonides is a negative theologian, meaning that he will only say what God is not. He will never say what God is, so he, he will never make positive assertion about God. And if yeah. you are going to make positive assertion about God, yeah. you have to be specific. What do you mean God as the creator? Do you mean he's the creator of the heavens and the earth? Yeah, Because course. we as humans can create things, right? Of course, on a human level, yeah. Exactly, but he disagrees, which I, I'm not sure. I'll have Allah to look Allah. into. Even I looked into Safaria app about God rest. It's not It's not clear response. Even okay. Ibn Ezra had some disagreements with uh, Rashi about it. So it's not. it's not very clear. Because when I when I said do you know have you heard of Yusuf Elba, there wasn't. No, I think they do know. I don't know. Just no, they no, said, he, oh, I don't he, know. He's well known. He's well known. And he's well known. He's a Abraham well known. Mm. They're, they're well known. Yusuf Abraham. Anyway, let me clarify. Yeah. Just, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um, I was with uh, Raihan, and we were talking to two uh, Jewish guys, and uh, inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa taala guide them. Um, I was previously, you know, um, accosted and I was shouted at by some Christians. But, you know, may Allah guide them too. Amin. Barakallahu feek.